So I was uh, praying the other day and the Holy Spirit said, go to your altar uh, for this is a place of my revelations to you. Uh, so I went to my altar and this is the message that the Lord gave to me. Um, I'm just going to read it to you as he gave it to, to me. He said, they are scrambling after, after the Supreme Court rulings that just came forth. They are plotting and scheming to take out two Supreme Court justices, but I am turning the tables and will remove the ones that I have chosen to remove, says the Lord. And I said, Lord, who are they? And he said, they are the ones who have sold out America for a large sum of money. Pelosi is one of them. Her wicked heart will be exposed. And he said, um, Pelosi's trip to Rome was a cover for the true reason to be there. Um, the Lord said she was there to collect for her part in the takedown and takeover of the United States of America. When she met with the Pope, she was meeting with her crime partner, for he also has a significant role in the takeover of the United States and the world. The Lord said, I, the Lord God, will uncover their wicked deeds and expose them and others for what they have done. They played right into Satan's handbook of maneuvers, but I have the final maneuver, says the Lord of hosts. When Pelosi and the Pope descend into perdition, they will be shocked beyond their most deepest regret, but it will be too late. And when the Lord said that, I said, Lord, those are pretty strong words. And he said, when you see what I have seen them do, then you would understand my words. He said, there are many who are a part of this world reform that think their plans cannot fail. But I say, you have already failed when you chose to come against me, the great I am. You, you cannot contend with the God of the cosmos and expect to win. For I will put a hook in your jaw and lead you where I want you to go and not where you want to go, says the Lord of hosts. Um, Ezekiel 38, 4 says, and I will turn you around, put hooks in your jaws and lead you out. The Lord said, the lust for power, the thirst to control, the desire for riches, and the insolence of pride is your downfall, the same as your father, the devil. You have followed his ways, and so therefore you will receive the same reward that he will receive. You will be cast into the lake of fire for all eternity. I would say, repent, but you will not hear, you will not heed my word says the Lord. There comes a time when some people who have made decisions to come against me over and over again, they get to a place where they cannot repent even if they wanted to, says the Lord. Pelosi, you have reached that place. You think because you go to Mass and receive the Eucharist that you are okay, but you are not. You have a form of religion that I reject, says the Lord. I speak to you, Kamala Harris. You know what they have done to steal the 2020 election. I hold you accountable for what you know, but have been afraid to divulge. You think you are trapped in a corner with no way out, but I am giving you a second chance to come clean with what you know. Your Air Force One days are over, Kamala. Why am I the Lord God addressing these two women, says the Lord? because they are in the number two and the number three position behind Biden, who is no more. They are scrambling, says the Lord, because their house of cards are falling, are falling. Tell my people to, to keep declaring my words. These are my words, says the Lord. New days are ahead for the United States of America. These days will be tumultuous, but in the tumult, my glory will shine. Get ready, my children, to do great expo exploits for me, says the Lord. 
In Daniel 11.32, it says, Those who do wickedly against the covenant, he shall corrupt with flattery. But the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. The Lord said, Be sons and daughters of thunder, and I will provide the lightning. I love you, my children. Rejoice that you have been chosen to be on this earth at a time when the world will see my greatest glory ever witnessed from the beginning of time until now. The Lord says, Rejoice in God your Savior. Hallelujah.